Hello everyone, this is a short video to share my learning on using Inkscape uh, to create a project and then correspondingly um, to set that up for um, imaging or graving if you will and cutting over in LaserWeb 4. On the right hand side I have Inkscape in a window and on the left hand side I have LaserWeb 4 in a window and throughout this video I'll refer to these as the right and left and that way I won't uh, mistakenly use the wrong names. <clears throat> I have this tendency to say laser works when I use when I mean laser web so if I do I apologize but I'll use right and left. Um, so let's look at the right hand side and what I've, I've created a project already. This video isn't uh, about how to draw in the Inkscape. This is more about how to set your project up so that we can um, and then design and set up cam operations on the left hand uh, side. So what we see on the right hand side is I have uh, a circle, this blue circle. I have a raster image which I actually pulled in from GIMP. And then I have this little section here, which I call the logo uh, uh, cutout. And the, lo the idea behind this project is, is you engrave this um, K40S logo, and you cut out this yellow area, uh, sort of like a stencil, and then we cut this into a medallion with the blue. Now, it's useful to think about how that operation is gonna take place when you get over on the left-hand side uh, and then set up layers and colors accordingly. Now, just to note this yellow area, um, uh, I uh, pulled to the side here just for clarity when we get over to the cam operations, if you will. But no normally I would put it right here, obviously. Uh, so you have a nice sort of dark engraving of the K40S, and then you cut out this uh, stencil, so that might look kind of cool. But I'm going to leave it to the side here just so we can illustrate the the different set of operations. So once again, um, engrave, cut, and cut in, in that order. So correspondingly, um, I've created an image layer. You can see here. I've created a cut circle layer. See the circle? And I've created a, a logo cutout, if you will. Um, and um, I did that because that's the kind of organization behind how I want the cam operations to take place. Now let's look at a couple other interesting um, and important elements of this design. Uh, and I'm going to click on the blue circle, if you will. Remember, that's in this cut circle layer. And I want you to notice that it's called Path 4172. Now, all of these uh, elements on your design have IDs. In this case, the ID is image 4177. In this case, as a group, this is group G4254. And if I look at the nodes view here and go down into a specific node, I can see that, uh, if you will, stroke is path 4231. And this one down here is 4215 and so forth. So, um, Getting granularity around color, so use as many colors as you can, use as many layers as makes sense, and, and then pay attention to, um, in your sort of detail elements, uh, what the paths. And then the ID actually translates over into the left-hand side. So let's look at the left-hand side. Now I've already loaded this uh, design from uh, the right-hand side into the left-hand side uh, window. And you can see the structure uh, of the design that I pulled from the right-hand side. And I've actually already assigned um, sort of a, a set of cam operations down here at the bottom in the order I want. So let's just look at and contrast the right-hand side and left-hand side. So layer one right here is the image. And that correlates to the image layer on the right-hand side. Uh, and you can see the image within the, the layer. And then layer two is the cut circle layer over here on the right-hand side. You can see that highlighted here. And you can actually um, highlight any element within this tree as well. And then layer three 
Carl Hicks did this uh, logo cutout. And as I indicated before, if you go over here on the right hand side, let's look at this segment, this path, if you will, 4231. There's 4231 there, and sure enough, uh, we can highlight any element of this tree. Um, now, uh, therefore, you can now assign um, in the in this drag documents area, you can assign any element of the tree by layer, by path, and then um, you can also go sort of one level deeper, and you'll see that the filter fill, all the fills colors show up. These fill colors correlate to the fill colors over on the right-hand side, and then stroke colors correlate to the stroke colors on the right hand side. So I've used blue and I've used black over here and you have blue and black. And in terms of fill, uh, there we have black fill over here and we have yellow fill over here. So you can filter out, um, you can further filter by color. So you can load by layer, you can load by path, and then you can filter by color. Now, how you do that, uh, there's a good video out on, on laser web. The web, Laser Web website and Ariel did a really nice video on that, so I'm not going to go through that. The intention of this video is to really sort of show you the uh, correlation and contrast between um, the right and left hand side and how to set up your design. So now we've done the design on the right hand side. We've set it up with layers and colors um, and paths. We've loaded it in over here. We can see that whole structure on the, on the left hand side. Uh, we've moved um, elements from here in the order that we want down into uh, into the cam operations on the bottom and we generate the the code for this and then we can see the simulation take place so you can see the first thing that happens is it does the engraving now it's going over and cutting out that the stencil like laser logo and now it's going to go around and cut out the circle uh, now, I think I mentioned earlier that, um, or maybe not, but I don't use red over on the right-hand side. And I don't do that because you'll notice that this simulation renders in red, and therefore, red on red, it looks like nothing's, uh, nothing's happening, if you will. So, we can go here and we'll zoom in a little bit closer. So there's creating the engraving, and it's doing the cutting on that small object, and now it's cutting the circle. Absolutely straightforward once you realize that layers, colors, um, and paths over on the right hand side can be very useful, and, and, and I should say, including the um, ID, can be very useful uh, once you get it over on the left hand side. It makes uh, gives you a lot of granularity in terms of how you set up your camera operation. Well, I think that pretty much summarizes what I learned this week. Um, hope that was helpful uh, uh, to you and thanks for watching.